so many people are having to go back to virtual instruction. I want to just give something to all of you to help. Um, I've used many, many different uh, letter tile apps or programs. And um, it's really helpful to be able to have something that your students, whether they're virtual or in person, but they're virtual right now, can move the tiles. So move letters and build words uh, to uh, mimic awareness, uh, manipulations, manipulate tiles, uh, switch tiles around to create different sounds. It's nice to have that. It's nice where both you and the student have access at the same time. So I've used um, various apps and you can give it to your student to use and then you don't get to, to move the tiles or you can use it and then give them a remote control, but we all know it's a little bit glitchy. And I basically almost never give a student remote control because as a student is doing something, I still want control to, you know, take my notes and get other things ready. So I like this to be collaboratively in the same workspace. Um, I've used Google Sheets and made letter tiles. I've used Jamboard. I like Jamboard. It's fast. It's efficient. Uh, and you can make letter tiles uh, right on the spot. And say, oh, I, I need an SH now or whatever, and, and pop it in there very quickly. But unfortunately, kids at home might not have the bandwidth for Jamboard. It is kind of a heavy user. And if that's running into problems for you, what do you do at that point, right? And then it's just the whiteboards and, and the drawing and having people show you whiteboards. And there's nothing wrong with doing whiteboards. I use whiteboards too, and, um, and it it's works. But here's another option. I'm, I'm going to give you another option here. I use Playing Cards IO for many games, and I built a, a letter tiles game board in there, which is just a, a place to have letter tiles. So let me show it to you, show you what it looks like. So Playing Cards IO is a site that is meant for collaboratively playing card games. And they have all these games that you can play collaboratively with people, so long as you have a means to hear the other person. And I think a lot of people use Discord or uh, you know, just you know, the phone to, so they can talk to each other meetings or whatever uh, and listen to each other as they play their games collaboratively and um, I use this over Zoom and over Meet to play educational games and I've made tons of educational games but right now I want to give you a letter tile so what you do is go here and you're going to import a game file the game file that I'm sending to you so this is not an educational site. So these things in here might have odd cards. And, you know, there might be profanity in some of these games that other that they've made that people can play. I don't know, but I, I don't play them. Um, it is a site that I have not seen any computers unable to process. And it has been a very low use um, I don't know what the right term is, uh, site. So it doesn't take a lot of memory or computing power or whatever. It's, I have not found a system that cannot use it with the exception being if your student is on a school managed uh, device and they've locked everything down. If they've locked everything down, this might not be available. But if any home device, I've not found any home device that has not been able to use this, and so it's been very reliable because some, you know, if you're on an iPad, you can use it. If you're on a Mac or a Chromebook or whatever, you can use it. It hasn't mattered. So you want to come to this part where it says import a game file and click on that. And it says drag a PCO, PCIO file here. So this is the file here I've downloaded here that I'm sending to all of you. Just take that, drag it in here. You do this one time. And now you have this room 
this room is available for you to use with your student as much as you like. Because it is a gaming site, a playing site, um, and they, it's free, entirely free, you, uh, your room will exist for you so long as you use it, uh, and it'll exist for a month. And if you use it, again, it'll keep on existing for a month. If you don't use it for a month, it will disappear. And then in that case, you'll have to open up another one with the, with the back one. So now it's in here. This is all it looks like. I didn't do anything fancy. I made just the simplest thing to help us with having letters. So letters exist here. And I have some color blocks here. If you want to use these like El Conan boxes, you can put sound boxes out here to uh, some the sounds. And then if you don't want to, just bring these back. You don't have to use them. And you can build words or you can do switch it type activities with this. So if I want to build a word, you just come up here and grab it and bring it down and put it in either spot here. So, oh yes, I have to set it down here, the lower one, and um, build a word. And there we go. Now let's switch this to fan. That's a horrible one to start with, but you know what I mean. So what do I need? I'm going to take this one away and stick it back and grab another letter in here. And we've got fan. Now let's switch it to fin. And let's see, I don't need this. You can just stick it on the side, whatever. You can put it away later. It's here. I did not do anything fancy. These letters can go in any space here. I did not make it where it's assigned to space. I just gave it an environment to exist. So as simple as that, and you can use this. The way you play this or use this, um, I tell my students, don't touch the top ones. You may use this bottom one to make it larger, like that, and have a full screen. But for me, you take this share room code, this one that looks like a share button here. Here, you're gonna copy this to the clipboard, done and then send this to the student in your chat, in your, um, whether in Meet or in Zoom, or put it in your classroom, what, however you communicate with your kids and send them files. So send it to them, the student opens it up and then plays. And I will do that very quickly. Just And I will show you, I, I'm gonna just open it up on my iPad as well. So I'm gonna do this to open it up. And this, I just like that here, and open it up. So you can see that um, it's how it works. Okay, very good. So now I am in. I am in here. Do you see this pink one here? That's my iPad, and on my iPad I can pull these and move this, and so everybody can work collaboratively in one space. And it doesn't matter if you have one student or a small group or whatever, you can work in this one space. You can't see who's doing what, but at least you can work here. Anyway, so that's the share code. That's how I send it to my students. I ask students not to touch these. This is the edit table and I'm gonna show this to you. So you can come in here and edit it. Uh, it is not the easiest thing to set up. It takes a little while to get used to it. The, the cards exist right here in this section here. Do you see that? Let me move it down. Um, right here, do you see this? This is where the cards exist. And um, if I tap on that, I can edit the deck. So it is possible to edit. This is the size they are. The template, if you mess with the template, it's easy to destroy things. So if you're comfortable with it, play around with it. If you're not comfortable with it, just leave it and use it. But it's possible to change colors and do other things. The thing that you might want to do, and I'll show you, is go to the cards. And here, you can see here, I've included all the graphemes 
here. I've included, including all of the vowel teams, I've included, and some, you know, basically however many uh, graphemes. And I've included a, um, a bunch of suffixes, apparently. I included suffixes when I made this because I had students who needed that. Anyway, and then I, I have this at zero. I don't have this tile on my board right now because that's not what I'm using. If I wanted to, I would just go and put a one in there. And uh, and now I would have that tile here. So you can see here, see right here, this one, there it is. So it has a front and a back. But if I don't want some of these, if that's too many that's out there, I would go in here, edit this, add, remove. Don't hit, don't hit the uh, trash can because then it's gone completely. But you can say, yeah, I don't, I don't need that one. Just make it make a zero of them. Down that one. Yes, here it is, zero. So you can go in and remove tiles you don't need and put extra copies if you need more copies of some of these. So um, this is, there's so many things I have done with this, so many things you can do with this, but if you just need something quick to have letter tiles to work, this is really fast and very quick and it works, it seems to work on everything I've tried it on, except for the managed devices that are totally locked down. Um, but I, I hope that's helpful for you for, for uh, distance learning. And, um, and I have other things that, I've, that are in my TPT store that I've made free for helping people out with distance learning. So you can check that out too. So. Good luck. And I appreciate everything everyone is doing to help our students learn at this time. Thanks.